Imagine an AI that can scrape websites, apply to jobs, fill out forms, and even bypass bot detection, all running locally in your own browser. Well, allow me to introduce to you Retriever AI, the next generation AI super agent that's changing the automation game. Retriever AI is a powerful local first browser extension that operates directly inside your browser. Unlike most AI agents that rely on cloud servers, Retriever AI runs completely on your device, making it faster, more secure, and able to access websites that typically block cloud-based bots. It can automate complex web-based tasks like scraping data or filling out forms, sending messages, applying to jobs, and much more across multiple tabs all in parallel. Retriever also supports advanced multi-step, multi-tab workflows, which is perfect for tasks like researching products across several sites at once. And if you want to build even more powerful hybrid automations, Retriever can call external APIs and databases on the fly. The best part is, is that you can power it completely for free using a Google Gemini API key from Google's free tier. Just take a look at this example where Retriever is able to autonomously focus on applying to multiple jobs simultaneously. In this case, it's able to fill out all the fields and it's able to apply to multiple jobs all on its own. And this is the capability of the super agent where it can autonomously execute these different sorts of tasks for you, whether it's a complex task or if it's a super simple one, it's able to tackle it all. Now you may wonder, why not just use browser use or any of the other computer-based agents? Well, this is something that sets a news industry benchmark on different sorts of web-based tasks. It is achieving a remarkable 81.39 success rate which is the highest amongst all tested AI web agents, even outperforming human supervised models. It's not just accurate, it is incredibly fast, where it is seven times faster than the next leading alternative, which is browser use. It also is super cost efficient. So this is why many people are starting to use Retriever over many of these other extensions. And the best part is guys, it's free, where you can even get free credits using their cloud servers as well. But you can even bring your own API key from a Gemini model like the Flash model, which offers you a free API tier. Now, they stated that a single credit lets you do one AI action like a click, scroll, type, or extract 10 rows from a single web page. This is remarkably cheap, and even if you needed more, you can even get the $10 plan, which will get you a thousand credits per month, and it's going to be able to greatly elevate any sort of web based automation task for you. But now that we have gotten all that out of the way, let's showcase how you can get started with Retriever. You just need to simply install the extension to your Chrome browser. It is something that you can install with a single click, and I'll leave a link to this in the description below. Simply head over to the Chrome Web Store and just add it to your Chrome browser by clicking on Add Extension. This will then be added to your toolbar on the top right. Now, if you are to click on Retriever, the extension, it will prompt you to sign in with a Google account. So go ahead and do this. It's completely free. After signing up or signing in with a Google account, you're going to be then sent over to this sidebar. This is the main dashboard where you're going to be able to execute any sort of task with the AI agent. You can type in your prompt in natural language and it will be then taken into the planner agent to execute that task. But you can see that you can capture screenshots of a certain page. You can then add it as reference. You can even upload your own files as well as attaching Google Sheets, which is a game changer. And this is something that will even automate data entry for you. Now, something else that you can see is action tabs. This is where you can select tabs to switch to multi-tab mode. So if you want, you can select my World of AI channel. You can select something like the Retriever AI webpage, and then you can click done. And it's going to be able to have the ability to work on two different tabs simultaneously, which is just insane. But before we even showcase all of these features, we want to head over into the settings tab to showcase everything about Retriever. So on the bottom, you have it so that you can start or select DOM recordings. You can select and manage different sorts of AI tools. This is where you can even use MCP tools to help you automate data uh, processing as well as working with different plugins and tools. You have user tools that you can select as well as system tools like creating a chat graph, creating a web page or crawling a web page as well as creating other sorts of things like extracting and creating different sheets. You also have 
the ability to repeat a previous task, and even schedule different tasks. On the bottom right, you can then go over to the settings, and this is where you'll be able to track your free credits that is given. You also have it so that you can configure the agent where you can choose your own model and bring your own API key. The Gemini Flash is the best model for multimodal tasks. So if you want, you can provide your own API key and you can use it with the free tier to execute various tasks. Google actually offers this free tier, which supports the 1 million token context window, as well as the thinking budget. It is free of charge in terms of the input price and the output price. And there's also a live API that you can use. So you can generate this and get a free API key from Google AI Studio and then input it into the Retriever extension. Now, this is where you can also set the amount of tabs to open in parallel, the amount of times the model can load a delay, as well as the max amount of scroll attempts. You can also set your user configuration so it's easier for you to fill out different fields. So if you're trying to automate jobs, like applying for jobs in mass, you can fill out these user configs so it's easier for the AI to go ahead and paste out these different field names. Now that we know what we can actually do with Retriever, let's showcase it live in action. This is where we're going to have it use the deep tab research on AI agents. We're going to have it find a good list of different agents, output the contents of it, and then have it give us the pricing of those different agents. So you can see right away, it has already created an AI agent competitive analysis Google Sheet. It is going on all these different AI agent websites and it looks like it is scraping the contents of each of them. And once it finds the contents, you can see that the AI agent will then keep a memory of it and then it's gonna work on then outputting it to the Google Sheet over here. So right now, it is lastly working on this last AI agent workplace sheet. And you can see right away, it is going to output the competitive analysis, the strategy, the pricing model, the key features, as well as the use case. And you can see that it was really fast in accomplishing this task. Now, I want to try one of their predefined prompts, which is where I wanted to go over to Google AI Studio, sign in and consent if needed. Make sure the checkboxes of consent lies are correct and then it's going to work on creating a new API key all on its own and this is something that could be really helpful because instead of manually doing all this it can set and configure all these things all on its own and you can see that it generates a API key which I can then copy and use for other use cases. All of this is done autonomously and you can see it's able to do it quite quickly. Now, here's another prompt that I am sending in. This is where I had requested it to go over to my YouTube channel and find the top three most viewed videos. And then after, I'm going to have it find the title, find the view count of those trending videos, as well as having the AI generate a summary and then pasting those contents into a new Google Sheet. I'm doing this all autonomously. I'm not doing anything. And right now, you can see that it's working on executing it. It looks like it is creating a new Google Sheet. And right away, it looks like it has created this sheet that has a view count and the top three trending videos, which is correct, data button, uh, both the data button videos as well as fabric. And there you go. You have the summary that was then outputted afterwards. So this was all completed all on its own and it did it pretty quick. And that's why I think this is the best super agent to use because it's able to output contents really quickly, able to do a really great job in this case. Now guys, if you are to click on select or manage tools for AI, you can actually have it so that if you click on view function details, you'll get a good breakdown as to how you can use all these different parameters. For example, there is something that you can use like creating a Google Doc, and this is an instruction that you can add by simply adding it. So you can add the create Google Doc uh, prompt, and that way it will then know exactly what to do in this case. But that's basically it, guys, for today's video on Retriever. I highly recommend that you take a look at it because, in my opinion, this is the best web-based automation tool that's available right now and while also being free. So I highly recommend that you take a look at it because it executes these different tasks with multi-step, multi-tab workflows, and it does a good job in performing in every single action. I'll leave all these links in the description below so that you can easily get started. But that's basically it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the second channel, join the newsletter, join our private Discord, follow me on Twitter, and lastly, make sure you guys subscribe 
turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos so that you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spare positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.